So we can come down here to the Lewin, where I've written it. This is where we're going to put the ship. Right next to the uh, Hobart class destroyer. Destroy all this so we make room. Now I do have the dimensions nearby, so I can tell that it's, I can pretty much do it, it's going to be a little bit harder, because it's not exact in meters, so like it's like 4.3 meters shallow, etc. So get our stuff. Uh, we could probably come down three. Shit. Yeah, three should be good. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. I'm just going to take it off like one of the other ships I know. I think that should be right. Nope. Far off. need some uh, night vision. No, wrong button. Yeah, we can just come in three. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the bottom, so... We can just fill that right in. stuff for the propeller.
Yeah, I think that might be a bit shallower, actually. Yeah, we'll lower it a little bit. Yeah, so we gotta lower it by a block. So pretty much just tracing immediately over exactly what we just did. I think it's much easier to do this from the top. So that's one propeller. Will I have space for two? I do believe I will. Yeah, once the hull's started, it's pretty easy to get the top of it done. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna break all this up because it's the bottom layer now. This can go all the way back. Just gotta remember what I've been doing now. Yeah, because that's gonna come out. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks good. Needs to go up by that. Drink another one of these. Drag this all the way back. And now we're going to do the back, uh, the red layer on the bottom. So I can have this not filled up with water. For those that don't know, HMAS Lewin is like a mine hunter that was turned into a supply ship, kind of. Like, it was a really weird transition for it. And uh, it's needs to go up by one, doesn't it? Four, five. Oh crap. So the draft needs to be 71, 72 meters. Make sure this is 72. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's like, it's nearly 80, I think, so it needs like, th three and a half of these, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it needs to have three and a half twenties. Yeah, which is that. Okay, that's perfect. Just need to shorten this by a little bit.
Yeah, this is this for me is like a find out as find out as you go. Right now. Yeah, because then it can come back by one. Okay. Yeah, because now we can do the other side. Just FYI for anyone who's wondering, this is not a tutorial, this is just me trying to find out how I should do it. If I ever do want to make a tutorial on this. Don't know if I want to get into that Minecraft area part of it. Because I think a lot of people have that well covered at the moment. Yeah, okay. Now I fill it with sand and mine it out. This is probably the most boring part. This is the most boring part for me. And I've had to deal with every other ship here. As if when you're building in water. I prefer to use sand because it's gravity induced. But it's... It's just filling it up and then mining it out so there's no water. Yeah, okay, that's good. This is probably the most boring part of anything that I have done to do with Minecraft ships. Though I do like the mining away. It goes so damn quick. Just FYI as well, this is not exactly one to one scale, it's roughly one to one scale, which means it's not going to be exact.
Okay, time to fill in the big portion. Once I get the hole finished, then it'll be time to move on to the like the main grey chunk of the hole. Once I get this red and black finished though. Yeah, this gets really annoying sometimes, and like, especially for ships of that magnitude, it took me like four or five hours to fully mine it out, like place all the sand and mine it all out. It took forever. So I'll put these row in and I'll start mining again. Yeah, the most boring parts now, where you gotta mine out all the sand and make sure there's no water left in the middle. Without breaking the hole, hopefully. Yeah, I'd say that one is probably the the most stressful one with the sand. I do like how I can just do this though. Just runs as fast as possible. Get all over and done with. Hmm, thought I broke a block. I swear this sometimes get really boring, especially like, I've only done half of it, doesn't look too bad. Except for when I miff it up like that. I'm just gonna finish this off and then I'm just gonna mine it all out. Thankfully that's done. Now I just gotta do the mining. So before I actually get too far into that, if you guys want any progress reports on this, I've, I'm building all the ships of the Australian Navy, so we got the Lewin, of course, over there. The uh, Hobart class here, the Huon class, Armadale class, Collins class submarines, and that, I can tell you, is a full submarine that I built. This is going to be a frigate. The biggest helicopter carrier is going to be approximately that long. Those two are new to come. Hopefully. 
Hopefully soon. This entire ship here took me about three days to build. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with the rest of it, but let's just focus on the Luwin for now. Yeah, only the really big ones I can put hull numbers on, such as, you know, like the destroyer here, I can put the 42 on, because that's the HMAS Sydney, Her Majesty's Australian ship Sydney. But stuff like these patrol boats, the Armadales, they're too small, you can't actually put numbers on them. Like, it's just pretty much impossible. Damn it. Yeah, so I don't think the Lewin's going to have a number on it, but the LHD, the Frigate, possibly, and the Destroyer definitely will. And yeah, if you're wondering exactly what ship I'm building, just search up HMAS Lewin, L-E-E, L-E-E, U W I N. It's a weird name I know and I don't know why we named it that way, but we did. Just search it up, go on like the Wikipedia forum or something, and you should have all the information there, numbers, dates, etc. This is probably the most boring process I think I've had. Apart from that one. And I can tell you, I am never doing one of these sized ships again, unless it's the LHD. The frigate's small, and I kind of like it that way. Just this portion is gonna kill me, out of all the builds. Getting all the sand in place and mining it out. But thankfully it's almost done. That's it, okay. Now we can move on to the light gray section. I'm gonna take a look at the picture real quick. Okay, so we can do a two. All right. And that one come out as well. Actually, hang on. I can come back a bit. Actually, from here. Oh uh, no, I think it might run on top just fine. Okay, so it's flat sided. Flat ended, sorry. Okay, so there's two here. Yeah, and I think that can yeah, that can stay. And then that'll come forward, and that'll come forward, and that'll come forward. So yeah, we're slowly building it up. 
and it should be fair way in though like a little boat deck or something can't even tell exactly what it is but no oh, other side Okay. Looks almost right. Like, I'm not sure whether it should be a two or a three, because there's that little boat deck at the back, that little cutout. It's like got two boats on either side. It's a bit weird. Don't know if it should be one or a two. You see, if I do it two, then this end's gonna have to be raised up as well. And change that's gonna have to come forward by one. Actually, no, I can come forward by two, two, two. Two, one, two, 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 two again, really? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you see, I can't tell. Hmm. Also, I think that's a little bit long. I think the front end's a little bit long too. Yeah, I think two blocks should do it. Let's not lose our night vision real quick. Yeah, it's a very flat-sided ship too. So that's when I can go in here and take out all of that and pull this in. This is the main deck. I just can't tell if it should be... Yeah, so the front would be raised up by three and the back by one. It looks like. It's almost correct in length as in width as well. It's a fifteen point two meter beam and this is eleven blocks. So it's close it's really close. I'm just not sure if that's gonna be the accurate sizing for this right now. Like this whole area here. Yeah, because then this is going to have to be raised up by a crap ton to get even with it. Well, 
Which means I have to go do more front work. Yippee. I hate the bows on ships. That's probably the hardest thing for me at the moment. By one. Actually, we can do it by two, I guess. Just slowly begin to standing it up. Ah, that's wrong. What'd I do? Oh, yeah. Okay, drag this back to there yeah I'm just not sure if this is gonna be cl like close or if it's just not gonna do the correct thing I want it to I mean, the ribs, like the boats I make, are not that big. Let's fill in the back deck first real quick. I mean, I got time. I can redo it all if, if I want. That's pretty good. And I can do that. No. This. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's perfect. Because then I put my slabs. Oh, and that's too small. Yeah, the ones that are actually on the ship, I don't think I'm going to be able to recreate, so I can just do this for now. Yeah, plus the crane that's here, it's about there. It's almost the right height. Oh no, it's two cranes at either end, okay. Just a lifeboat, I guess. Where's those chains at? Oh, I already have some. I think this one needs to be moved back by one. Yeah, there we go. So that's one over here too, and then let that hold back and move in. So yeah, I don't think I need more than just that. So I want space to get by, so I'm going to need my 
iron bars. That should be right, right length, shouldn't it? No, it's one in. Now let's see if I can do this nose correctly again. And it's not too hard, but... Okay, so there's that. And it should end there, which means I can put my fence in there. No, that doesn't really warrant it, does it? And then all this can get destroyed. Because I only need it up to here. They are a bit weird, these things. Like, I'm not sure exactly what they are. Actually, no, it would be here, wouldn't it? With the metal bars in between. Yeah, and then there's the piling that goes over it. I'm not sure whether the front deck should come up by like three or four and the back deck should come up by one or two. That's the only issue I'm having at the moment. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess fill in the rest of the boat and see how it works. So I know there's stairs here, I'll just fill them with the black stairs for now. But whether or not this goes to this, or not, I don't know. It looks like it does. beginning of it's like a nice very nice deck and then this comes up like this and then this is dragged all the way back all the way over I just don't know for that. I 
I do know that that's filled in. Oh, so it's got to be one over. So that should be like that then. Wrong button. Yeah, because then you go up to the main deck. So that I know is like that. So it should be something like this, if not close to. Those need to be thick. That needs to be standing up like that. Yeah, I'm just not entirely sure about this boat. Like, there isn't too many well known photos of it. Oh, so it's only just one crane. Okay. Let's look at an image again. This crane doesn't exist. It's just the front ones. Okay. So there's that. And like that. With the blackstone walls on top. Or is it? Yeah, it's hollowed out. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not too sure about this. Like, there aren't... I'm looking at all the photos that are now. There aren't too many well-known images of the HMAS Lewin. Like, you can definitely see it. You just can't see enough detail of it. Okay, so I do know though that this is actually the deck. Hold on. I gotta push this out again. I'm gonna make it slightly longer. Yeah, there we go. I know that this is the deck. All the way back to here.
Yeah, so that is definitely the height I wanted at. But what's in here I don't know, because I know it's a pretty much a hollow place at the moment. On board ship anyway. That's all I can see, it's just, um, hollow. Actually, no, what I can see is, like, it's got a, like, a walkway, and then it's just closed off. Like this. Whether there are any doors or anything in it, I don't know. Yeah, because these can come forward. That's what it kind of looks like to me, and then, of course, you got, like, that, that much, and then it shaves off to this. I'm going to go too forward. Actually, no, I can't do that. That has to stay on top, which means that has to stay on top like that. Which means that can come forward, that can come forward, that can come forward. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm just not sure what to do for the rest of it, because I know, like, there's the stone brick walls and stuff holding all this up, but I'm not sure what's underneath it, or how it works, or anything like that. it also looks as if like it's blocked off like straight through here it's just blocked off There's those in between there. Space and then the rib, the other rib. The nether brick, uh, fuck, nether brick wall, there, and like I know there's this in here, and that's about it. That's about all I know.
I mean, it looks fairly decent to me already. But just looking at the photos, I can tell the bridge is like three high above this. And even then some What that says to me is that there's probably going to be slabs through there. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, and it like stops right. right after, like, two after this. And then the bridge is, like, up there. back over this to end like right here I have to look at the photo one more time but I'm pretty sure that's how it happens it's like yeah you're down on the boat deck here and then you walk up the stairs and you walk along the side. I don't know where any doors are and if anyone would be able to tell me I'd be happy about that because I have no idea. Take a look again. Actually, it seems to stop like just before the end here, so like right here. Okay, from here on it's going to be slabs, but here it's going to be blocks. Cause that kind of looks like how it looks on the ship to me. I 
I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm just playing this by ear. Well, by eye. Actually, no, that's probably going to be, yeah. That'll be, and then the deck will be there. Yeah, deck will be this height. Oh yeah, and then everything else is slabs because it... No, actually, it could probably be blocks. Yeah, it's probably going to be blocks because it's... i got to put the metal railings around it. So that level there is that, and then like there's a drop off almost. And that's where this deck would start up. But how far that drop off is, I'm not entirely sure. that and take a look from the front because it is a bit of a weird ship no it's actually further than this forgot about that there's a fourth one there, yeah. And then it goes two over the back of that. You know, because then it has the actual railing I have no idea what that sound is but I do not like it yeah so that looks like that and then That's the jack stuff at the back. And then do it like this. I'm not sure if that's actually true or if that's just something I think it might have I'm not entirely sure but I do know this deck continues for some time and that drops off there of course it took the way metal steps didn't I
So I think it's actually a deck below. No, it's literally a couple of steps. Yeah, there you go. So that looks about right. That's right, it's gotta be in line with this. Yeah, because then the whole bridge just walks right along until about here no about here it's quite a long bridge actually door there. Yeah, and then I'm just going to put two that way, because why not? Yeah. A few windows. Does look like it has an an, ac an outer access, so that looks about right. Just how far this thing goes, I'm not entirely sure though, because it looks like it ends up around here. You know, we'll just make it even with two panes of glass every one yeah we'll fill the deck in now because we don't need to get it past this we'll just put it on the outside layer here Yeah, this is me just feeling my way around, seeing what what's what the layout's like. I can get just get dragged back. Okay, yeah, that looks about right actually. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's continue building the below deck.
I think maybe it's a bit too long. Just drag it all the way back, fill it in. Yeah, this looks almost right. Like, I have no idea what's in there, but... In, like, the rear end here, but... Looks about right. Except maybe this needs to come in... A bit more. Some of this, just do a little curve. Damn it. I said curve. There we go. Hmm. Just gotta clean my glasses. Irritating my eye a bit. Look at the smudge. There we go. I'm not too sure how it diffuses that rear end. Oh, it just runs straight into a... Okay, I got it. Those two can get broken. Actually, we'll have the last one as a three. Yeah, because it goes straight into the funnel for the engine. Keep in mind, this is probably the only ship I've ever built that's not like a tutorial or something. Or hasn't been already like preconceived by someone else's build. Yeah, because that looks just about right, actually. Let me see if I can get a close-up of the mast, because I cannot see that.
has better image. It's tiny though. Okay. So it kind of looks like the masts come off the roof. So let's put the roof on. Just slabs, pretty much. can start putting stone in there instead so the roof will be actually no, we'll, we'll do it with the concrete just so it's a little bit easier to look at got to fill the bridge deck in the mast is probably the mast and the bow are probably the worst things for me in shipbuilding okay let's take a look at this Okay, so it actually goes up slightly as well. Wrong color. Oh yeah, I probably want to... Uh, no, I think I've already got that. Yeah, I do. So it's like a 4 by 4 No, it's four by three, sorry. No, four by five. Jeez, counting the inside. Yeah, this is just the smokestack. From the back. Actually, no, it needs to go a little bit higher. I think it needs to come in as well. Actually, no, at the base there could be four. And then once we start getting higher, there could be three, because it does actually come up. So there's that, and then we... Raise this forward, and again, of course, when we get to the front here.
It goes up like that. take this back okay Of course, there are just those little, um, just mask pieces everywhere. I just chuck them randomly about because I can't make sense of what anything going on in that photo but it looks like this entire back section here is built up a little bit the mast hanging off that. That kind of looks like the Lewin. <laughs> Oh, it's slightly rounded at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to finish this tonight, but... This is definitely, definitely a learning experience for me. I think that's going to be it for today. I think I've had enough Minecraft for one day, because I went and built that one, the Armadale, and this today, the Puluma. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick tour before we go. So this, um... I got tutorials, but then I make them my own, so this is done by EG, yeah, ESG Productions, and then it was connect, corrected and edited by me. Like, stuff like this. He had just fence gates and stuff like that. Same with the VLS. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. I think I'm going to raise that up out of the deck too. Another point in Origin is... I didn't like the look of just having regular slabs. So I just put on some carpet with some like wool and string and stuff in there as well. Again, done by EGSC, ESG Productions and edited and corrected by me. The sub, however, I did get straight off 
uh, ESG. I haven't modified it yet, but I'm going to. The Armadale and the Paluma, I got straight off Lord Dacca, but again, I got ed I went and edited and did some. I did a few things that they haven't done. I've actually visited these ships and been on them, so I kind of know what they are. This one I have never seen before, though. That's why I'm a little bit confused by it. Never been on, never even like seen it in real per in like in person before. So I'm still a bit confused by it, but I think we'll figure that out by the end of maybe tomorrow or hopefully soon I'll get to my schedule together and I'll post a video or a stream about it or something when I'm doing all my streaming what days, what times should be within the next week or so possibly two weeks but yeah the Australian Navy is coming along fine Huon Hobart Lewin Paluma, Collins, Armadale, and then soon to be Anzac class and Canberra class, and that should be most of the vessels. Like I'm not doing the huge uh, HMAS Cirrus oil tanker because that that would just be too too big for me to do. Like, barely, like, that would be on my own, because I haven't even found a single tutorial or anything like that. Like, doing Lewin on its own is getting a bit hard for me, so... I think that's going to end it there. Thank you for joining, if you have. And... I'll see you later.